What's good, YouTube? It's your boy. We'll be back with another reaction. Today, we got how Donovan Mitchell spent his first million dollars in the NBA, bro. Y'all, if you guys don't know, Donovan Mitchell is a, is a basketball player for the Utah Jazz in the National Basketball Association, also known as the NBA. That's common knowledge. Uh, let's see what this man did, bro. Y'all know a lot of NBA players end up going broke after they're done. A whole, I think it was like 18 NBA players just got caught scamming. Like the health, the health, uh, some type of, um, like their, I guess their health care benefits or something like that. Like real dumbasses, bro. Same thing happened in the NFL. It, you, it's like you hate to see it because now it's like a bunch of NBA players that actually needed those health uh, benefits, whether it's for like a, a, their back, you know, dentist, stuff like that. Now they gotta go through a bunch of different hoops and ladders just to deal with it because 18 dumbass niggas decided to go and fraudulently claim shit that wasn't theirs. But we're not here for that. Let's see what Donovan Mitchell spends, how he spent his first million dollars in the NBA. Make sure you like and subscribe. Let's get to it. This is a million dollars for real? Damn, it's a lot of cash. What's up, GQ Sports? I'm Donovan Mitchell, and this is how I spent my first million. Damn, I'm originally bro. from Westchester, New York, but I, I live in Greenwich, Connecticut now. That's where I went to school. Oh, where we're at right now with the Greenwich Country Day School from third grade to ninth grade. Bro, it's off topic, but I don't know. Maybe only a few people will actually watch this video and remember this, but there is a there's like a documentary like 10, 10 to 13 years ago, maybe. Um, between like 2008 and 2013, sometime around there. And they were doc and they were um it's like common now to like record an AAU team season like throughout the summer, but back then like the, there was a show called it was like a I forgot what it was called, but um there was a, there, there was a team on the East Coast called the City, the City it was like an AAU team like like the City I think, and it was Donovan I didn't even know I mean years later I realized that Donovan Mitchell was actually the kid that I was watching because I was actually just watching it because you know I just love basketball so much. But I didn't realize that it was actually Donovan Mitchell and I think his teammate Eric, Eric Pascal on the team way back then, you know. And, and I was watching them, which is which to me is kind of dope. I don't know why I just thought about that, but yeah. Grew up playing baseball. Stopped in about tenth grade and started taking up basketball. And um, you know, the next thing you knew, I was playing at Louisville. And you know, after two years, I tried to test the waters, uh, as they say, for for the NBA. And I was thankfully drafted thirteen, and now here we are. The NBA was definitely the, the ultimate goal, but for me it was like, okay, how do I, you know, get to college? Then it became really a reality, like I could really do this. And, you know, throughout the process, that's when it became like, all right, like, this is this is what I want to do, take care of my family and make sure that they don't have to work uh, a day in their life and make sure they're all set, my mom and my sister and my dad. So you sign the contract and then you advance. I think that's when you're like, whoa. You know, because you're, you're getting money from, you know, when you're doing the process, you have endorsement deals, you have, like, cards. You Hella see, money you coming your way. That. But, you know, when your first paycheck hits, it's like, whoa, like, you know, this is my job. This is what I do. You can see the details of my first rookie contract right here. 13th overall, four years, 14.3 million. Fortunately, after my third year, you can get Damn. extended in your contract, and I was able to fortunately get an extension for uh, five years, and um, was supposed to be 205, but someone didn't make all NBA. However, that may have happened. So you know, you've lost some, but you know, Damn. it's complaining. I'm still blessed and still able to be. Hey, that's still hella money, bro. And give back to my mom and sister, so I'm okay. Mm -hmm. You can see the details of my extension right here. So what it ended up being five years, 195. Damn, that's still crazy though. 163 million so of the contract is guaranteed. My first million dollars. Now you guys are gonna hear about how I spent my first million dollars. Mom's Audi. First thing I bought was my mom a car, and I got her a, a nice Audi that she always wanted. So that was about 50. It was something that I told her I wasn't gonna get her. She was like, I would love to get this car. You know, I was like, yeah, maybe in like five years, six years. You know? <laughs> Once I heard that, I was like, okay. I am get in the works. I'm trying to find a way to get this car for her. We had a home stand. I was here in New York for like five days. And I drove up here and brought the car. Actually, I gave it to her here at the school um, and pulled up while she was working and walked her out and she was able to get it. So That's dope. Um, that That's dope. Lucky. 50K probably like chump changed him though, but Porsche Panamera. The next thing I got was myself a car and that was a, a Porsche Panamera. That was probably about 90 right there. When I was working out, I had seen it in LA and I was like, man, that car looks dope. You know, and then I 
got it with a all black red interior, some red rims. I ain't feeling it. My favorite color, so that was something for me that you know I was like, man, I love for that to be my first car. And I was What's y'all's dreams cars, bro? Yeah, my, my first purchase, my first car purchase. I know it's cliche, but mine always been that G wagon, bro. AMG sixty three, matte black, uh, black rims. You know, I think for me was the, that's uh, mine, um, bro. Save some money for my sister's uh, college tuition. Three hundred thousand right there. Fortunately, she was able to to play lacrosse. She's in where, she, where she's at school at now, but I was able to give her and make sure I have that money set aside for her. Damn. Next purchase, I got my sister a uh, car, so I made sure my sister was set. That was the 16. She's always wanted a Jeep. I was able to get her a uh, Jeep Sahara, and I offered to trick it out for her, but she was like, no, I want it real simple. And I was like, all right, cool. That's something for me. I would, like, wanted to make sure my family was always set with whatever they I wanted. feel that. Just kind of spoiled it a little bit, or a lot of it, as much as I possibly could. Mom's house. And then the fifth one, the first part is I, I dropped my money down here on my mom's home. The other part is also being putting money towards my foundation. You know, that's giving back uh, through spider care, it's giving back to kids in the community, giving back to just people in need. You know, I think for me, just kind At of least they make it smart purchases, bro, because you hate to see these dudes go the broke. That I make. You know, not giving everything away, but, you know, understanding uh, just being able to help change people's lives in that way, I think is, uh, is huge for me. 250 for the foundation and 250 for the home. This is a million dollars for real. Um, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm happy. You know, I think the biggest thing for me is not only just, you know, being able to give back, but also saving for myself. And it's not just, you know, spending. It's also keeping it for generational wealth. You know, there are times where you, you, you just want to enjoy, you know, the life that you have, you know, and understanding that there's times for that, too. For, you know, but there's also times to continue to be smart, you know, because right. this can go away real quick if you, if you allow it to. And the tips I would say, man, is understanding that, you know, whatever you make, like, take all this and cut it in half right. just from taxes right. alone. And then you yeah. have so many other different things, whether it's a home, you have the mortgage, or you have the cars, you have whatever. Agent be, fees. But understanding that when you buy things or get things, understand you got to get things that over time appreciate, over time, you know, increase in value because money is great, but it definitely goes away quickly if you allow it to and continue to spend. Whether it's, uh, like, you know, having equity in deals such as body armor, you know, Adidas, stance, socks, like, for example, I use body armor uh, just because they're a company that matches, you know, who I am, my hunger, my passion, my drive, an innovative company. I think for myself, you know, continuing to strive for greatness each thing that we do, continue to strive to be the best that matches who I am, who Donovan Mitchell is as a brand, and I'm passionate behind it. I think for, for all athletes and for all people in general, being able to invest in what you, one you believe in, what you're passionate about, but also a brand that's definitely successful <laughs> um, because it's great to be. And I pay you a lot. That's what you believe in, but, you know, if they're not successful, then, you know, money's down the drain and body armor's been, you know, successful even before Donovan mm -hmm. Mitchell came on board. And, you know, that was definitely something for me. That I, I wanted to be a part of, and I'm, I'm blessed to be part of the Body Armor family and continue to work with them for many more years. All right, guys, it's Donovan Mitchell here. Just want to say thank you guys for. Well, that's it for that. Hey, man. Watching these videos is actually kind of motivating, too, because it's like that's what we all. I feel like everybody kind of wants to get like that $1 million. It's kind of what everybody kind of want, like, wants. But then when you like, you realize how much work you really do got to put in to get there. But I feel like as long as you like. I feel like people like overthink it too. As just as long, as long as you're just doing what you love and you're doing what you want, and you know what you strive for, and you and you work hard, man. I mean, you can do it. Like that's how I look at YouTube. That's how I look at whatever you know you try to do in life. It's just, you just it's like you can do it, but are you willing to just be patient enough to until it happens? But a lot of these NBA players and a lot of athletes, but I feel like like while they're playing because they're making so much, it's easy to just go crazy with your money and just not really worry about how much you're spending because you always like like you know okay if i spend 100k i'm gonna make that back in like a couple weeks or a couple days like it isn't that much but then they retire and they have the same spending habits that they did when they were playing but the money isn't the same so then you end up going broke so hey it's good to see you know young black kings getting their money and and saving it and doing well by themselves and their people so we're gonna leave it there make sure you like and subscribe i'm gonna catch you on the next one peace